have you guys ever been in a situation where you had to make the best of a bad situation and you had limitations placed on you? Have you ever heard of the paradox of choice? The paradox of choice is when people have too many options and some people associate too many options with uh, being good. Having too many options is great. But in other ways, having too many options is not so good. It can overwhelm us. It can stress us out, it can leave us disappointed with ultimate, the ultimate decision we make. So, before COVID hit, I was a street photographer. Um, for those of you not aware what street photography is, uh, you're basically walking around the city with a camera trying to capture interesting people and interesting things. Uh, when COVID hit, I couldn't do street photography basically because the streets were empty. Um, on top of that, there was a five mile exclusion zone. So I was pretty disappointed that I couldn't do the thing that I loved, which was street photography. So I knew I had to get creative. I knew there was no limitations on my imagination. So uh, on to my point, and I come to realize restrictions can inspire art. For example, if you're broke or you only have five euro, maybe you could buy just two colors of a paintbrush and make a painting. Or maybe you could just buy a biro or a pen and write a short story to deal with the circumstances I was under, I wrote my parents into being protagonists into a photo series I did, which was entitled Homebound with My Parents. Um, I built sets in my house. Um, my mom was getting ready to kick me out by the end of it. Um, but yeah, this is my dad ironing. This is my dad making a phone call to the 70s. Um, <laughs> So yeah, with COVID, there was mostly gloom and doom and people were depressed and stressed out and just, it was just a gloominess in the air. And um, I kind of wanted to counteract that with punchy colors, vibrancy, neon colors, pink and yellow, kind of like an anecdote to all this gloom and doom. Um, I also wanted to inject some hum humor into it. Um, I think as human beings, humor is very important. Um, it's a cliche, but laughter is the best medicine, and I kind of wanted to also inject that into the series as a kind of counterpoint to all this gloom and doom. <clears throat> That's my dad with an unidentified 1980s Romanian soccer player in the background, and uh, the caption is, school stay shut. But um, as the series and the pandemic were both uh, progressing, I felt my, found myself daydreaming, kind of nostalgic thoughts, feelings of the past, stuff like that. Um, and I read an article how it was actually a common phenomenon for people to daydream about what had have been. Um, so I kind of wanted to in, in integrate that into the series using like 70s, 80s, 90s props, electronics, uh, dressing my clothes in like o my parents in older clothes. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's a plate of uh, Brussels sprouts and some Tesco value beer. I don't know if anyone's drank Tesco value beer, but they don't make it anymore. I had to make it myself. <laughs> um, uh, just back to the nostalgic part, uh, kind of like nostalgia as a form of escapism from the pandemic, uh, and it just kind of ties in with us, was Catholic iconography. It's like growing up in Ireland um, in the 90s, I'm sure a lot of you have seen, there was a lot of Catholic imagery. Um, the Catholic Im imagery both mesmerized me and also confused the living daylights out of me. So I kind of wanted to incorporate that into the nostalgic part as well. So, who likes exercising? Uh, I don't. Um, <laughs> I was also reading a lot about how exercising and home exercise had just become an explosion of, like, if people wanted to exercise at home, they're going to work out and all that. So I kind of wanted to do a few takes on that. Um, I myself had pledged to get really fit, but um, like most people, I quit fairly fast and I started lifting cans instead of weights, <laughs> like my mom here. Uh, hands up anyone who's gotten a COVID haircut during lockdown. Uh, you can tell I've had a few. Um, this is my mom cutting my dad's hair. Uh, it kind of reminded me of watching uh, a gardener on the Chelsea flower show c cutting shrubs rather than a haircut, but I'm sure you guys all are, have had a COVID haircut. Um, this is my parents again together. There wasn't many photos of them actually together, but uh, the reason I chose this in the slide is because uh, my parents were, I was really grateful that my parents were open to participate in it. Not many people's parents would participate in it. 
And my dad loves poetry. He loves uh, writing short stories. And my mom loves color. She loves fashion. She loves interior design. So it was interesting that the whole series was like a mix of those two things in one. Uh, that's my dad trying to shave. Uh, oh, Jesus behind him. Um, I don't know if you guys panicked by toilet paper. We tried to panic by toilet paper, but there was no toilet paper left to panic by in Little, so I had to wait till people stopped panic buying till I could buy toilet paper. Um, the look on my mom's face, she looks terrified. She was actually supposed to be a happy shoot, but it started raining and there was like cars beeping at her to get out of the way. So it was, it was good, because she really captures the t how terrified people were when they're panic buying. The photograph, or the photo series, had a lot of success. It was in The Guardian, Rolling Stone. It won an award, but all that aside, my favorite part or moment of the series is when someone on the street approached me, a stranger, and was like, uh, did you do a bunch of LSD with your parents? <laughs> and, uh, and watch a bunch of Wes Anderson films. And that was better than all those other Guardian stuff. <laughs> So yeah, as the series was kind of winding down and my parents were about one more photo shoot from kicking me out of the house, um, I came to realize that limitations can inspire creativity. You don't, need to go, you don't need to travel to exotic countries to make great art. You don't need the best tools to make great art. You don't need the best color palette to make great art. Uh, you can make great art at home. Uh, limitations can inspire creativity. And I challenge anyone to make, I challenge anyone who's facing a restrictive situation to make art. Perhaps you're on an aeroplane with no Wi-Fi, you can pull out a pencil, start sketching. Perhaps your battery's died, pull out a pen, write some short stories. So yeah, just as the series is coming to the end and I was reflecting on how it went, um, I, I had to force myself to learn new tools, one of them being interior design, another one wallpapering, so I'm offering 10% uh, off wallpapering <laughs> at the end of the show if anyone wants some wallpapering done. Thank you.